Hey guys, happy Thursday. So big news today in the world of making a murderer. So before I get into my big news, because I know you guys haven't been news about Brandon already, I just want to say that as you guys know, I've been away for the last couple of days in an all expense trip, paid vacation basically from life, from Facebook for being one of the top influential people, admins on Facebook and one of the top hundred admins out of six million groups on Facebook. It has been the most humbling experience. It has been fucking awesome. I am so proud to be here. I am so proud to have been part of this first history making Facebook event. And I just can't say enough about it. So I'm going home tomorrow night. We have another full pack day. And let me tell you, Facebook feeds you nonstop. If you like to eat, work at Facebook or be part of Facebook because they have fed us nonstop. And I'm not talking like apples. I'm talking full course everything. All of us say we probably gained 20 pounds between alcohol and drinks. I mean, alcohol and food. It has been awesome. By the end of this, I have so much more respect for Facebook, more than I ever did. And let you guys in a little secret. Facebook is very close to finishing the finalizing that they are now going to monetize Facebook Live, just like YouTube does. So more people will be combining Facebook Live and YouTube because now they're going to be paying you to do it. So that's a little inside tip that we learned, plus so many other things, which I'm not at liberty to say yet, but it's Facebook's changing and it's changing unbelievably. It's going to be awesome. So with that said, let me get right into tonight. Brendan. Everybody knows about Brendan. And we all know that Brendan might be getting released. Now, I say might be because let's call a spade a spade. Yes, they overturned or they upheld his conviction, and that is fucking awesome. But that doesn't mean he's getting out yet. They do have 90 days to retry him. What I know about this case, I do not doubt that they will retry him. I just have a hunch that they're going to. They have zero evidence. They have zero anything to convict him in trial, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. So a lot of people are wondering why Brendan's family hasn't said anything. In my personal opinion, the lawyers told him not to say anything because he's not out yet. It's great that they overturned, that they upheld his overturning. It's awesome that he's on the right path. But again, the state still has 90 days to retry him. And I'm not being negative. I don't want to say, oh, you're just being fucking negative. No, I'm being real. Knowing what we know of this case, I don't think they're just going to let him walk away. I honestly don't. I think he's going to get retried. Based on what evidence, I don't have a fucking clue. There was never any evidence to convict him in the first place. But I don't think they're just going to go down without a fight. I honestly and truly don't. I hope they do. I hope they let him walk out the door in 90 days. I don't see it happening. Especially with Zellner. And I know that Zellner's not his attorney. However, with all the shit going on with Zellner, and Zellner is attacking Kratz, and it's fucking awesome. But because she's attacking him, Kratz is going to want to hold on to something. There is no way in fucking hell the Kratz the narcissist is going to just let this go. Without Brendan's confession, there is no Stephen guilty. Yes, I know that there was evidence and everything else, but it's already kind of been proven that the evidence has been planted. So if we already know that and Zellner's already working on that, they got to try to keep something with Brendan. So I think they're going to concoct something and they're going to try to retry him. If they retry him, it's more time in jail. They retry him, even if he gets a speedy trial, which I don't even know if he's entitled to. It could be another year. So for people who want to know why nothing's been said, that's why nothing's been said yet, in my personal opinion. I don't know for sure. But that's what I honestly think. Now, secondly, Stephen. Zellner had wrote, I have to find it, but Zellner had wrote this article in um, the Post. I'm sorry, in, not the post, I can't even think today because people keep messaging, in the, um, what should we call it, in the, uh, the fuck's that magazine, the Conquest or whatever, the Post Crescent, I couldn't even think of the fucking word, in the Post Crescent, and 
It was a very good article. She is going after Kratz. If you don't know, like, really what she's going after, she's going after Kratz for four different Brady violations. And I have it pulled up now. And because she's going after him for four different Brady violations, one of them hopefully will stick. But she's going after, and I don't know if I remember this, but she's going after not Colburn and um, Link. She's going after Kratz, Dennis Jacobs, which, to be honest with you, I haven't heard that name too much, and Dietering, who's now retired. But in post-conviction court documents filed recently at the Manitowoc County Courthouse, Selena contends that someone involved with Abe's prosecution intentionally lost or destroyed a crucial audio recording of murder victim Teresa Hobbock's voice from her last day alive. Well, it seems that at 2.15, shortly after 2, Hobbock left a message for George and Joelle and Zipper. And it seems that that voicemail was somewhere around 2.15. So that's the voicemail that the call that would have been lost or whatever. What she believes is happening is that Zellner, I, I'm sorry, not Zellner, I can't even fucking talk. It's late. It's almost 12. But Zellner had said that according to this, Kratz specifically lost this voicemail, lost this document because it didn't fit in his timeline. Hello, we've been saying this forever. And she's using that as a way to prove that that was one violation, one Brady violation. Now, if you don't know what a Brady violation is, I did cover it in a video, but a Brady violation is defined as prosecution's failure to disclose evidence to the defense team depriving a criminal defendant of a fair trial. As we all know, Kratz deprived Stephen of a fair trial with that fucking press conference. Right there, all, everything's gone. He completely deprived him that day. Nothing else after that even matters. I don't know why, if possible, she can even focus on that. Because to me, that's important. They need to focus on that. Because that press conference was the saddest fucking display of justice I've ever seen. It's So I personally think that's a big one. Now, uncovering a Brady violation on the issue where the Hobbit left the Avery property alive would be vitally important. It also says that it would be strong evidence, in theory, evidence suggesting that Halbach was somewhere else other than the Avery compound could be compelling evidence. We knew all this. My question is, even if she left, can they prove that he didn't go after her? And that's why I read you that, because from a plain devil's advocate role, it still doesn't say that he didn't go after her. Who's to say he didn't chase after her in a car and then kill her and then bring her car back? I know it sounds totally preposterous. It makes no sense. But think about it. It does make sense. It's very, very possible that he went after her, killed her, and brought her back and did all those things. That can easily be uh, the defense's... Um, the, I'm not the defense, the prosecution's statement. I'm not saying they will. I'm not even saying they're smart enough to think about it. But from a kill, from a pr prosecution standpoint, to me, that's what I would say. I don't see anything so far that's telling me he did not kill them or Brendan did not do these things. Yes, you don't have a conviction. I mean, you don't have a statement because it was coerced confession. I couldn't think of the word. And you don't have solid proof that he didn't go after her. This is why I am still dead set that she needs to produce a killer and a way to do it. Otherwise, I don't think the evidence is strong enough. Granted, there's planning, there's this, there's a million things to the normal person that says he didn't do it and Brendan didn't do it. That's so blatantly obvious that it's there. In this particular case, in my opinion, you need fuck more loads than that. That's just my opinion. The way this case has gone and as crazy ups and downs this case has gone, I so want to say rah, rah, yes. But the reality is you can't say rah, rah, yes. Because there's still too many open-ended questions and too many open-ended things for that to happen. So hopefully they won't retry him. 
hopefully this will be the evidence that Kathleen Zellner needs. However, if he does walk, it's going to be on a technicality like that, and I still don't see that happening. I just can't see them getting away with this this easy. I just can't. So I'm going to end it with this. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will make a video tomorrow because I'll be flying home tomorrow night. Oh, back to the boyfriend's house so I can see my kid and my dog. So make sure you subscribe. Make Check out my other videos. Keep track of everything. And thank you to everybody. Wish me congratulations on being here today. Uh, it's just, it's been an amazing experience. So I hope you guys have a great night and peace out.